So the first thing we want to do before we start creating a 3D model is we want to set up a project in order to keep track of all of our work. So in order to do that, you want to come up here into the upper left hand corner, click File and go ahead and click New Scene first just to make sure we have a clean canvas. Then go up to File, drop down here and you're going to see this project window. Go ahead and click that and it'll open up a pop-up window. This project window will allow us to designate a location where all of our files are going to be saved. So if we need to bring an image in to as a reference image, so while we're modeling we have something to look at, we'll know exactly where Maya is going to save that inside of its file system. So first thing we do is up here where you see current project, let's go ahead and click new next to that. And we're going to type in a name. Let's call this project one because we're going to do this more than once just so you can get an idea of how this all works. So we're going to type in project one and we're going to choose a location and click your folder system. And I'm just going to come over here in the folder bookmarks and go ahead and click your desktop to get yourself onto the desktop. And we're going to right click on the desktop and we're going to create a new folder. Let's change the new folder to project underscore one and press enter and then we're just going to click that folder and we're going to click select. Now below you're going to notice that the location has changed to the project that's on your desktop, that new folder we've created. And the primary project locations drop down window is going to tell you okay any scenes that you have saved are going to be in a folder called scenes inside of that project that we just created on our folder. Well we haven't created it yet but that folder we just created on the desktop. It's going to save it in another folder called scenes. Then you're going to have temp, uh, all, any templates are going to be in a folder called assets. Images are going to be in a folder called images, source images, and so forth. So you can kind of see if you wanted a custom name for your images folder, you could change it. Type in a different name before you know you click accept, and you could set up your own folder system. And a lot of times if you're working with a team, they may have their own folder system, and they'll give you a list of how to name all of your folders for your project but for now we're just going to leave everything as default don't worry about any of these they're not important for what we're going to be doing so once we've done all this we've created the current project and we chose the location go ahead and click accept now I'm going to go ahead and minimize this window and I'm going to open up this project one folder that we just created now you notice there's another folder in it called project one I'm going to double click that and remember how there were those folders like images and clips and what have you in the scenes right here you can see that all of the folders if we imported an image into Maya it would be inside this image folder for this project if we saved a scene it would be inside this scenes folder right here so let's go ahead and close this window and open up Maya again now the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and create another project just for giggles Go ahead and open up the project window again. Come over here and click New. We're going to type in and we're going to call this one Project 2. Underscore 2. So Project Underscore 2. We're going to choose a location. So we're going to drop this window down. We're going to come over here to the folder bookmarks. Click on Desktop. Right click and let's create a new folder. And we'll call this one Project Underscore 2. And we're going to click Select. All right, so we've selected the Project 2 folder. And we're going to come down here and just leave everything as default and click accept. So now we're set up to project two and we're going to drop this down, minimize. And you can notice now we have another project, our second project, which is actually different. These are different folders than our project one. It has its own folders and this is how projects work. So whenever we're working with a specific item, let's say in one project, we're creating a weapon in another and then in the other project, we're creating an armor. So we're going to want to be able to tell Maya where we want it to save the files when we're working on them. So every time you open up Maya after you've created a project and you're working with a project, you want to set that project to the one that you're working on. So right now we just created the second one, so we're technically set to project two. Let's say we want to work with project one though. So we're going to come down here, we're going to click set project. It's just below project window, so they're both located in a in the same area which makes them easy to find anytime you need to. So I can click set project and we're going to go ahead and we're already in the project 2 folder. We're going to go to the desktop and we don't want to click the folder that we created uh, on the desktop. We want to open it up and select the actual folder that has our items in it. So I'm going to go ahead and 
come over here and go back and we want to select project one right so we're in the project one folder that's on the desktop and it also created a folder that has all of our assets and additional project folders in it so we're going to select that project one folder we're going to click set so now we are set to the project one so if i were to save this scene so i'm going to file save scene as you'll notice that maya automatically took us to the project one folder on our desktop inside of our project one scenes folder it went directly to where our scenes are supposed to be saved so i'll just go ahead and call this um, example underscore one so this is our first scene this is what we're working on you'll get a student version file if you're working with the student version like i am right now for these tutorials that just tells you that anytime somebody opens this maya folder this maya project up they're going to see this pop-up window informing them this is a student version of maya <laughs> so go ahead and click continue and if i drop my menu down and i look inside my project one project one my first project i come down here to the scenes folder there's our example underscore one Maya binary file. This is our scene, the first one for our project. So this would be our sword, for instance. Now let's say we wanted to work on our armor for a bit. So we go up here to file, we click set project, and we go back to our desktop, double click the project two and select project two where all of our project fo folders are. So select project two and click set. Now let's go ahead and create a new scene because we wouldn't be working on this anywhere. We wouldn't want to save this. So go ahead and click file, click new scene and select file, save scene. You'll notice that it automatically went to our project two folder because now we're working with our second project. We set it to project two. So Maya knows, okay, we're going to save our Maya scenes inside the project two folder. And that's how it works. First you create the project, then you set the project. So let's say I were to open up Maya and I want to work with a specific armor or a specific weapon or whatever game asset that you're developing first you want to set the project to that game assets project folder so let's go ahead and save this scene as example underscore two so we can look at it inside the folder structure i'm going to click save as and of course this pop up just click continue and we'll minimize down and we'll take a look so in our project one, we still have our example one is right there. And in our project two, if we double click scenes, we can see that our second scene has been saved inside the project two folder. And that works with anything that we were to save. So if I were to go to the root of the project folder and I were to import a image for the project one, it would get saved here. It wouldn't be saved inside the project two unless this was the project that I had set. It's always important to remember that if I was working on one project and I were to switch to the other project, see right now we have example two Maya binary. This is a scene that we just saved to project two. If I were to come up here to file, set the project to project one, open this up and select the project file and click set and then I was to try to save example two I would click file save scene as notice that it's still trying to save it in project two because Maya understands that this file still exists in project two and this file is from that project it remembers where this file is it's not going to forget that you save this to project two we just set it to project one and you'd think it should save in project one but it won't but if I were to cancel out, go to File and select New Scene, then click File, Save Scene, it'll try to save it in Project 1 because that's the project that we're set to. Now, if I were to click File, Open Scene, it also will go straight to Project 1 Scenes. So I can clip our Example 1 and select Open, and now we're working with the project that's in our Project 1 folder. So in the next video, we're going to start developing our sword and but before we do that of course we're going to set up a project folder so we can cover this one more time just to create the project folder and then we'll start developing that weapon